gives you the transient evolution of, of how these things develop. So you can see which pockets fill in. You start to get an idea of timing for uh, when uh, flow begins to abate in certain areas and, and how it propagates. I think you could also extend this to looking at uh, erosion rates as well. So for, for a fast flood event, you could have higher erosion rates. Um, and those, those are some of the main things I think you could get from, from the CFD. So the, the STL files that, that get written out, they're, they're often of quite good quality, but you, you can have missing facets, you can have spikes and, and uh, kind of unphysical elevations that, that come in. So we, we actually use the Space Claim uh, Facet Repair Toolkit to take care of both, uh, I think it was hole repair, and we also did some smoothing uh, around the riverbed just to try to more uh, readily refine the, the zone where we knew the free surface flow uh, was going to be. All you need from the STL file is just the ground map, basically. You don't need anything above and below. You can set in fluid meshing uh, box size. So this, this box will encompass everything that you intend to have in your CFD domain. And that box basically cuts through the ground and it goes to the elevation extent that you want and the X and Y positions, so, so the length and width of the geometry. What Fluent has is dynamic mesh adaption, which actually does two things. It will refine the mesh where you have a sudden influx of high gradients of, of liquid and, and gas going into a particular zone. But the nice thing it does is it actually relaxes the mesh in areas where those those high gradients have moved away, right? So as, as the flood is progressing downstream, the area where the mesh has to refine itself is changing time step by time step. 